Okay. Welcome back to Took and Liam. In this case, it's just Liam. We're finally beginning the turbo build. I've got it in the garage. I've got my to-do list, which is massive. I've got three weeks before Tookie comes back. I want to get this thing completely wrapped up, everything done, make and boost. I have to, as you see, drop fluids, pull a heap of stuff off, space the head, drop the sump, do an oil drain, do an oil feed, build a manifold, new whole new exhaust, intercooler and piping, gauges, it needs a rising rate fuel pressure regulator, injectors, and there's probably a heap of other things that I haven't even thought about. So, let's get into it. Okay guys, here is a big wedge of parts for the turbo build. I've laid out the majority of them, I still need to get some other stuff. But I'll run through them now just so you can kind of get an idea as to what's happening. So we've got blank manifold plate, bends, steam pipe, that's the build, and turbo manifold. Obviously our turbo, which is off our 300ZX, off the twin turbo ones, this is just a single one of the turbos. Might be a little big, I guess we're going to find out. Obviously just bulk degrees up. Manifold plate, can't even buy one, have to make one up myself, so we've got to do that. Boost gauge, wide band, a heap of vacuum line, sump drain for the oil, oil turbo drain, the drain out of the turbo itself, boost T, multi-layer head gasket so that we can lower the compression, obviously because we're turboing it, we're increasing the pressure, rising rate fuel pressure regulator, 170cc I'm pretty sure, Corolla injectors, which are going to be awesome, some new coolant for at some point, some new transmission fluid, or gearbox fluid, a radiator flush just because I had it and why not, an oil flush because once again why not, the drain for the actual turbo oil, and I need a cooler from a 100 series Land Cruiser, so yeah. Oh baby I love your madness, it's so incredibly
pulled a lot of shit off. Headlight. We ended up deleting the aircon. It was just in the way. It didn't work. It was weighing us down, making us go slower. Battery is getting relocated because that's where the turbo is going. I'm going to try to run off the factory manifold now. We're going to try to turn back up underneath, add it where the battery was, back to the intercooler in front of the radiator, then back around. I've obviously pulled the bonnet, pulled a heap of other things, pulled the exhaust off. And yeah, it's looking like I figured I've got to rotate the turbo, but yeah, we are making progress. Good morning, YouTube. It's day two of the build. We have a lot to do today, and it's going to be awesome. I've got heavy intercooler piping, once again, that he tried to use exhaust. Piping that I found <coughs> at our local exhaust shop again, because it's just sticking with that budget build. I really like the idea of it. It's steel, so it's easy to work with, because I have a MIG welder, if anything. It's got some bends made up, so I'm hoping I can use that, which is less silicon bends, which means less chance of the intercooler piping popping off, which is going to be great. We're going to try to get this turbo mounted. I've got to build a flange for the turbo. Um, what else is there? Oh, a heap of other things, but I mean, today it'd be good to maybe get the turbo mounted, get the intercooler mounted, get some of the piping sorted, and maybe even pull the head to do the gasket, which I didn't get to yesterday. Maybe the injectors, who knows? It's going to be a big day. And oh, let's get into it. We have most of this mocked up turbo. It's going to be sitting there. Drain has to be always up. Sorry, feed has to be up. Drain has to be down. Just to make this work, seeing as though this turbo is not off the right car, I have to make this kind of bent up dump pipe that goes kind of like that. Probably can't see it, but it kind of goes down and around the gearbox and then down to pretty much a big up pipe, which I then have to do another bend around. But yeah. This is going to look so good when it's done. I haven't ever seen a high mounted turbo on a 660 mirror, but we're doing it. Side mounted, high mounted, whatever you want to call it. Alrighty guys, that is a wrap for the day, for the weekend, for the first turbo video. My audio was garbage because I, I had my little video recorder inside a case and didn't realise that it would block that much audio, but that's all right. Um, as you can see, the turbo is in, the actuator's back on, it just clears the bonnet, but hey, it looks pretty awesome, so I'm pretty stoked with how it comes out. I know Tork's gonna be loving it when he gets back. All right, um, yeah, we will see you on the next one. Bye.